Number five, zero to little money. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, think about the process of what we're doing. Remember, we are getting a property under contract from a distressed seller or distressed property or combination of both, just getting under contract. Then we're going to market that property and sell that paperwork over to another investor or homeowner. That means I'm not buying it. That means there's no down payment for, from me. That means I'm not even putting down an earnest money deposit. I don't have to go get a hard money lender. I'm not gonna go to the bank to get a loan because I have no intentions on closing on that property. My intentions is just to find a great deal, turn around and flip that deal over to another investor and let them come in with the money. Let them come in with the hard money lender. Let them run their credit and get a loan from Bank of America to buy the house. Not us. If we're not putting money into the deal and if we're not running our credit, then what's our risk? Zero. Okay, and that's the way we want to work. Number six, no credit or banks needed. We will make all cash offers. I know that sounds scary to a lot of people because they think, where am I going to get the cash? Don't worry, we're not buying the property. You don't need the cash. We're gonna use someone else's cash to buy that property and that person's gonna take it off your hands. So our cash offers are not coming from us we are bringing in another buyer to back up from behind us and take over the deal from us. So we will never come out of pocket for anything. Now, I will speak later on in regards to short sales and REOs. They work a little bit different. They're going to want proof of funds. They're going to want us to prove that we have the money to be able to close on this property. No worries. I will give you proof of funds up to $5 million. Okay. You will have that on hand. No worries, it's not our money. We're going to use the transactional lender's money to close the transaction. We're not on the hook for it, and the other buyer is still gonna come in and buy this property to cash out the transactional lender. So the great thing about that is, again, we're not involving any credits, and we're not using any of our money. Lower purchase price, listen, we buy cheap and we sell cheap. Okay. I'm not looking at a little discount of 10, 15, 20% off. That's not a discount in my eyes. We are going to be focusing on things that are going to be 30, 40, 50, 60, 70% off. In some areas like, uh, let me see, we have uh, people here in Cal most people here are from California. We're going to look at 30% or greater. But let's say Rhonda and Jeff here that are from Illinois. We're looking at properties that are going to be about 60% off or greater. So markets will change. Number eight, no out-of-pocket expense. We are not paying commissions. There are no points. So no, nothing goes to an agent out of our pocket. We're not paying points which are associated with loans because we're not getting a loan. There's no closing costs. Why? because we are not the ones closing on the property. And there's no holding cost. If you're a rehabber, these are the typical things that you would end up paying. But if you're a wholesaler, we pass the debt over to the rehabber, see? Now holding costs, for an example, is gonna be insurance, possibly HOAs, it's going to be your utilities, anything that's miscellaneous and so on. But for us, no worries. We just pass that on to somebody else that wants to do the rehab.